All right, this video is going to I'm going to showcase an app that uh, maybe most of you could find useful. I did a video on this about a year plus ago on this app, and in the past year plus, it's had some upgrades and several several new features. So figured I might as well do a dedicated video on it again. Now, uh, what it basically is, it's called um, well, it's called Audio Manager, but it's also if you look for it on the Android Market or the Play Store, it will be called Hide It Pro. So basically, what it is is um, it's a place to store pictures, uh, even certain apps, uh, videos, stuff that you don't want people to see, and some stuff that you want to hide. So I'm sure it's happened to you before, where you're on your buddy's phone, you're on a gallery, you're swiping through their photos, and then you know something pops up that you're not exactly supposed to see. So this is something that to prevent that, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. So first off. As you can see, when you first open it, it is nothing like, uh, you know, an app where you hide stuff. But if you read it, so I, I reinstalled it. I uninstalled it, and reinstalled it, so that I can show you guys the whole procedure for um, for setting things up. It's really easy, really self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. So as you can see, um, it is an auto and uh, manager app, like for your audio. You can control. It actually works too. So your music volumes, alarm volumes. As you can see, it's very self-explanatory. So. But to get into the meat of the app, you just long press audio manager and bam, here it is. So now you can start the setup and it's going to ask you whether you want a password based, like a numerical number, or if you want, uh, sorry, if you want a numerical based, like a pin based or a password based where you enter, you know, like a word like, um, I don't know, basketball or something, you know, whatever you want your password to be. So now uh, I'm going to choose pin just because I think it's faster and easier. So there now you can choose which pin you li you'd like to use. Um, I'll use uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now you can save it. And there it is. It's going to confirm it. Press OK. And you can also enter your email so that in case you want to retrieve your password to pin, but it's not a big deal. I don't need that. But that is an option. So now you're back into the main uh, menu of it. So. Now you can just uh, do the same thing, and now there it is. It's going to ask you for your pin base, and mine was 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is. So now you're um, into your vault, as you can see. And here is where um, things you can do. So you can hide pictures. You can hide videos. You can hide audio. Um, certain apps. You can lock apps so that you need a pin to enter it. Your file manager, browser, even messaging so that people can you know, look through your text and all that. And other apps. So... Um, if you put let's hide some files, it'll teach you how to hide files. Um, it's very easy. Um, so I'm just going to skip through that because I'll, I'll actually show you guys how to do it right now. And um, I'll show you just, just how to hide pictures because it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Once you know how to do one, you can do the other. So, um, all right. So first, let me make sure that I have nothing. Let's see. Okay, so okay, so as you can see, I have a uh, 61 right on right now, and then um, you can create several uh, folders for that. So, all right, so to do that, um, to hide something, you can hide something within the app. But I find it easier just going to your gallery and hiding it there. All right, so let's say I wanted to hide. Um, let's see. All right, so let's say I wanted to hide this, uh, my picture from E3. All right, so let's say I wanted to hide this. Now, all you have to do is go into this share button right there. Whoops, let me go ahead again. Share button right there. And now I'm just going to press see all. Now, uh, this is ice cream sandwich, so it should be the same through, um, you know, whatever OS you have, whether they have gingerbread, Froyo, it's, it's all the same. You should just find a share button. Um, all Android can do this. Now you find Audio Manager right there. You can either create a folder, select an existing folder, or cancel. So let me just go ahead and create. There we go. Create and select the E3 and press OK. And that's it. Now it's completed. So you can either go to Audio Manager and look at it, <clears throat> or you can go back. So I'm going to press go back and show you guys how to do multiple. Because you can actually do multiple photos, um, you know, not just one. So let's say I want to do multiple. Just go ahead and long press whatever pictures you like. So I'm going to pick three right there. 
and then same thing now because i already pressed audio manager it's already there um you know as a shortcut but just to show you guys how to do it again well i guess you have to click it all right so just go audio manager there and then now you've bashed it just like the folder and same thing that's it so just press ok and that's and then it's gonna do that so now um if you want to go back and check um, you're going to have to enter your PIN or password every time. And there it is. It's already hidden. So the the cool thing about and you can if you have more than one, you can swipe through like a slideshow. All right, and um, the cool thing about this is that uh, it's encrypted. So even if you were to look, um, like plug your phone into your computer and look through your SD card, you still can't find it because it's pretty much encrypted. So the only way to get your photo back is to... Um, unencrypt it and basically you just long press it and there it is you can move it back delete or unhide it so it's going to unhide and then it'll, it'll send it back to wherever you want to put it back to and that's basically it unhide and it's gone take time to refresh all right so that's gone um, I can go ahead and delete that delete the folder execute there so um that this is it and um, so if you want something to hide just do that same thing for videos same exact thing audio file manager so any, any files you want to hide you can do that um, if you delete the app uh, and you didn't unhide your photos you won't be able to view it so you uh, reinstall it and unhide it but it's not a big deal um, if you want to avoid that just you know make duplicates of your pictures whatever so and store in your computer and I'm gonna show you guys one more cool feature that I think is really good um, if you go to settings and general no it's on where is it at here if you go to login settings you can actually make an escape pin which is really really cool um, I'll show you guys what to do so when you press an escape pin just go ahead and press a pin now that it's either you can also create an escape password I believe in case but since I chose the pin version um, and it's going to be escape pin so uh, my regular pin was one two three four so let me let me make it um five six seven eight and change so there so what an escape pin is is um let's say for some odd reason someone um, was playing with this and they did find out that it's more than that and it did that for whatever reason probably never gonna happen but if it does um, you have an escape pin so if they're gonna ask you well you know what is this for what's your password just go ahead and put an escape pin um, obviously one two three four is my real one so you can see um, I already have my picture saved up but if you have an escape pin which was five six seven eight and it's cleaned out you're not gonna find anything so that no one will still find it so I think it's a really really cool feature in case someone for whatever reason does find that little little um you know this little idea here so you have an escape pin and no one can see anything so that's really cool um, if you want to get rid of the ads you can but remove ads and you pay a couple of bucks if you want to donate but other than that it works perfectly um, let me know if you guys liked it and let me go know if you guys even have even heard of it and let me know if you guys already have it so other than that um, hopefully this has helped and thumbs up the video and all that I will have a write-up of this if you want to if you'd rather read what this app is about um, on talkandroid.com. I'll put a link at the bottom for it, but um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.